No more cramming into the middle seat between a crying baby and a guy with the world's largest snore. Get ready to cross the ocean in style on a luxurious private jet. Here are some of the craziest secret features of private jumbo jets, including an inside look at the greatest private jet that never was. Private jets are a common luxury of mega millionaires and billionaires, and they offer a lot more than just leg room. The biggest are often more like private hotels in the sky, right down to the perfect place to relax. The residents of private jets can often retreat to luxurious lounges filled with comfortable couches where they can sit, recline, and even catch a nap. Even on smaller private jets, the spaces are divided into different rooms that offer that rarest of luxury on an airplane – complete privacy. And what about when you need a little… more privacy? It's the worst nightmare of any flyer on a coach flight. Your stomach starts rumbling, and you've got to make a run to that cramped airline toilet where everyone knows what you're doing, and then you have to flush the bulky vacuum toilet. Well, on a private jet, you'll be greeted with a very different sight. A full-sized bathroom complete with a comfortable sit-down toilet and a sink with all the amenities. Many even have showers so you can get clean in privacy and comfort. And the best part of all? No line in sight. And after using the bathroom, it may be time for a meal. What's up with airplane food, right? In most cases, you'll be lucky to get half a can of soda and a pack of dry pretzels. On a longer flight, maybe you can order a sandwich. If you're lucky, it's not extra. But on a private jet, it's a world of difference. Many of the biggest private jets come with a fully equipped kitchen, turning out gourmet meals whenever their elite passenger wants something to eat. They're also likely to have a fridge containing all the passenger's personal favorite snacks. And some frequent travelers can even employ a full-time private chef for their plane. And eating all that food is a different world, too. If you're lucky enough to get something to eat on a coach flight, you're just about to tuck into it, and then a guy in front of you reclines and it goes flying. Not on a private jet, where eating on a plane looks a lot like eating at home. If you have a luxury dining room in your home, it doesn't matter if you're thousands of feet in the air. There's nothing stopping you and your fellow flyers from dining out in what looks more like a Michelin star restaurant, except that you're the only guests that night. And after a long day and a filling meal, there's only one place you want to go. Sleeping on an airplane? Good luck with that in most circumstances. At most, you'll be able to recline and get some fitful sleep if there's no turbulence. But private jets have all the comforts of home, and that includes bedrooms. While flatbeds are possible in first or business class on planes, they're usually not that roomy or comfortable. In a private jet, you'll be able to curl up in a king-sized bed that's just as fluffy and comfortable as the one you'll sleep in at a high-end hotel. You might even find that mint on your pillow if you've arranged it. And you'll need that rest, because it's not all pleasure on a private jet, it's business. The people who fly on private jets are often high-powered executives, diplomats, and politicians. And the world doesn't just go on hold because you're flying. Turning off the cell phone for the duration of the flight like in commercial isn't an option. So private jets are fully equipped with Wi-Fi and video systems, so teleconferencing is possible. And if you got several of your business partners on board, why not retreat to a fully equipped conference room to hash out things in person during the flight? And that's not the only use for technology on a private jet. No need to pick up that new James Patterson mystery or watch whatever movie's playing on the screen. You can have whatever entertainment you want on your private jet. That's because many of them come equipped with home theaters complete with surround sound and state-of-the-art visuals. They'll be equipped with internet access and DVD or Blu-ray capability, so you can stream whatever you want or bring entertainment from home. And if you're more into active entertainment, set up that video game system and school some noobs in Smash Brothers from 31,000 feet. Of course, one of the best parts of a private jet is that you can truly make it yours. The design of a private jet isn't an off-the-shelf kind of thing. The wealthy choose a basic model, but most of the work comes after that. Designing a private jet is similar to designing a custom mansion, and the lucky owner will usually build their vision from the ground up, picking their own interior and amenities. While neutral colors are the most common to create a professional atmosphere, there are no rules. Anyone can have their vision come to life if they have the money, whether that vision is a gold-plated bathroom or a room entirely plastered with pictures of their cat. And speaking of man and woman's best friend, it's the most nerve-wracking part of flying for every pet owner. While you're flying in relative comfort, Fido or Fluffy is sweating it out below in the cargo hold. Many people have advocated for planes to provide a safer place for pets, and private jet owners make that a reality. Pet areas are usually in the body of the plane and keep the dog, cat, or hamster contained in a climate-controlled area, so it's just a flying kennel for them. 
Of course, only one person determines what happens on a private jet, so there's nothing stopping a pet-loving billionaire from just letting their pet run loose, as long as it doesn't distract the pilot by being so cute. And if you want to stay fit while flying, that's possible too. This isn't a regular feature in private jets, but the most health-conscious flyers have sometimes even set up their own private gym inside their jets. Especially if you're talking long cross-ocean flights, it can be helpful to have plenty of space to stay active. While doing acrobatics in the middle of turbulence might not be ideal, items like lightweight stationary bicycles can make it easy to burn some calories while waiting to land in your destination. And there's nothing stopping you from giving your personal trainer a spot on the flight if you need someone motivating you. And another big perk of flying in style? The staff. It's not hard to feel bad for the flight attendants on a crowded flight. They're serving a lot of people, some of whom are less than polite. But you could still do with some more attention, and on a private jet, you'll get it. You'll decide exactly who comes on board and what they do, and that means you can add whatever perk you want. Would you like hibachi at 31,000 feet in the air? Nothing stopping you from bringing a teppan chef on board. And if you want to follow that up with a relaxing rub down, give that personal masseuse a ticket to ride. Nothing is foolproof, but if it goes wrong in the air, private jets are prepared. The Cirrus Vision Jet, one of the smallest private jets, has one unique feature a personal parachute built into the plane. If the engine's failing and it's not possible to return to the airport, the parachute shoots out from the nose of the plane. This destroys much of the plane, but it stabilizes the vehicle and glides it down to safety. And newer models also add in an autopilot that can land the plane automatically in case of a medical emergency, like if the pilot faints after eating too much of that catered dinner. But some billionaires have taken luxury in the air to the next level. It was the 2000s, and Prince Awalid bin Tal Assad had big plans. The Saudi prince loved luxury planes and already had two and a high-end yacht. But his next plane would be his biggest yet. A massive Airbus A380, customized to be one of the biggest and most impressive private planes in the world, and packing amenities that would put most private jets to shame. But alas, history had other plans, in the form of a devastating financial crisis that socked the prince in his bank account. The customized plane went unbought. But that doesn't mean we can't take a look inside at some of the most insane luxuries ever found in a private plane. For one thing, this towering plane isn't just a house in the air, it's a mansion. The customized plane has three floors, with two distinct ways to get around. First, you can climb from floor to floor in style with a stunning spiral staircase with golden handrails built around a shimmering chandelier. But if the prince isn't in the mood for walking, he can just press a button, and an elevator lift will bring him to his destination. It's not every plane where you need to plan transportation inside the vehicle. And for a hard-driving man like the prince, not any boardroom is acceptable. At first glance, the Airbus's boardroom looks pretty standard an elongated table with room for 12 people. But this isn't just any glass table, it comes to life, serving as a giant touchscreen so the prince can send business memos to his partners and employees without anyone needing their own device. And another bonus is security. What's sent on the table touchscreen stays on the plane, and the prince doesn't have to worry about losing track of sensitive information. And after working hard, get ready to pray hard. The prince is a devout Muslim, and his plane was designed with that in mind. It's equipped with stunning prayer rooms decked out in white and gold. It provides an environment of peace and solitude perfect for reflection. But this sacred atmosphere holds a high-tech twist. Muslims are supposed to pray facing Mecca, and that can be tricky in the air. But not on this flight. The prayer mats are electronic and shift over the course of the flight, ensuring that wherever the plane is, the mats will be pointed in the direction of the holy Islamic city. And after some quiet prayer, it's time to party. The Airbus was equipped with a concert hall perfect for enjoying live music tens of thousands of feet in the air. It's hard to think of a more elite atmosphere than a private concert from a top music star, and that's the kind of experience that's available when money is truly no object. It's not a surprise that the prince was known as the Warren Buffett of the Middle East. And who knows who would be headlining the concert hall if the stock market didn't crash. But sometimes you just want to relax. So what's more relaxing than a comfortable bedroom or a home theater on a private jet? How about a Turkish spa? These bathhouses full of fortifying treatments are popular in major cities in both Turkey and around the world. But it's rare to see one on a plane. Well, if the prince's purchase had gone through, he would have been able to enjoy the cleansing sweat of a sauna even while he was over the Atlantic. And he wouldn't have been the only passenger traveling in style. There's a large area under the Airbus not meant for any passenger, well, any human one. 
the prince ordered a large compartment under the plane for some very expensive cargo. His Rolls Royce. These incredibly expensive cars need to be treated carefully, and the prince's accommodation for his precious vehicle was likely very different from a standard cargo hold. It seems like a lot for a private jet, but that may be a bit of a misnomer. Most private jets are designed to carry only a specific individual and their chosen passengers, but the prince's mega plane had a much bigger capacity. It could hold several hundred passengers, including staff, which makes it far better bigger than any standard passenger plane. So in a world without the financial crisis, the prince wasn't just traveling in style, he was hosting the biggest party the high skies had ever seen. For other elite planes, check out which is the best spy plane of all time, or check out what happens when you hide in the landing gear of a plane for the worst way to fly.